So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet, because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. So here he is, the founder of Jeet Kune Do, and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is making the walk tonight. This is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. Great combination of speed and power, and the power is really set up by his precision, his dynamic striking style, his timing. Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style. No one has been more adaptable than this man, Lee. I'm a Bruce. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique. Whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head, if one of those lands, you've got real problems. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with big differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds, fighting at a book of a time from Florida, Ty Duffy! And now, the division's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch him up, and we are underway. First round, you ready? You ready? Let's all right, go. we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Opens with the inside leg kick. Oh, beautiful kick there. He hurt him with that hook. Oh, a huge block there. Oh. Very nice straight left hand. Huge kick misses. And he connects there. That one hurt. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, here comes the kick. That one blocked by Todd Duffy. Straight left counter finds the target. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Again going back to the jab just out of range. 
Oh, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Gotta find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use. Big shot oh! to the head, he's stunned. He's got him hurt here. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Oh, very nice. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. How about that shin? Lee's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. Got kicked from the southpaw position. He loves that left to the body. That strike will count. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Big punch. Hook to the body here, but strong defense to block the shot by Duffy. Oh, beautiful lead right hand. Look at that. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Counters with a big right punch. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Oh, oh man! He's hurt here. Hard hook. Catch it. Knee to the body. Just misses with a left hook there. He landed that punch flush. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right. Lee gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Dropping down, looking for a single. Duffy gets the takedown. Now let's see if he chooses to pass here, Joe. Oh, he got cracked. Full mouth. In half guard. Guillotine attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. The tight guillotine. That is a tight guillotine. He's got that pretty good. That's pretty tight. His guillotine is nasty. And there it is. Outstanding. The round was about to end, sunk in the submission, and got the victory. Yeah, you've got to admire the focus and the commitment to getting the finish. You could tell he was in hot pursuit of that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it, so he sets it up beautifully, lets it materialize almost organically, and ultimately gets the desired result. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. And it's over before he even gets a chance to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a guillotine jump, Bruce the Dragon! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.